Hi friends, my name is Dr. Munir Jan. I am anesthesiologist and intensivist. Today in this slide video presentation, I will be discussing what is SIMV mode of ventilation that is synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation. So let's begin. <music> Now, synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation, that is what is known as the SIMV mode. This is a mixed mode which combines mandatory control breaths and spontaneous breaths, which may be pressure supported breaths. So, these spontaneous breaths may be pressure supported. The mandatory breaths can either be volume control or pressure control breaths. If the patient makes no respiratory efforts, the mandatory breaths are delivered at a regular frequency and the mode is effectively the same as volume or pressure control. The difference with SIMV is how the ventilator responds to the patient effort. If inspiratory effort is made when a mandatory breath is due, then the ventilator will synchronize with the patient's effort and delivers the set mandatory breath. However, if the patient is breathing at a rate greater than set respiratory rate, then the ventilator will allow the patient to take spontaneous breath or deliver a pressure supported breath for each of the patient's breath above the pre -set, set frequency. To clarify it more, SIMV is MV, it's actually a dual mode where the patient re is receiving the mandatory breaths and in between these mandatory breaths, patient is allowed to take spontaneous breathing. Okay, so mandatory breaths and patient is allowed to take the spontaneous breathing and this and the spontaneous breathing it could be pressure supported. Nowadays, what, what we see all those ventilators which have SIMV mode, which provide the SIMV mode, the spontaneous breaths are pressure supported. Okay. Now, you can clearly see from this picture, the patient does not have any spontaneous ventilation. All the breaths are mandatory. You can see clearly see from this picture, patient on SIMV mode, you can see there the patient is only getting the mandatory breath because there is no spontaneous effort. Now the second picture what you can see on this slide, the patient is allowed to take the spontaneous breaths. Patient is receiving the mandatory breaths also as well as the patient is getting, patient is allowed to take the spontaneous breath and these spontaneous breaths are pressure supported. Okay. Now we have modes of ventilator, modes of SIMV ventilation. Now either it could be a volume control or it could be a pressure control SIMV. Now both if they have pressure supported spontaneous breaths, they are known as SIMV volume control pressure support or, or SIMV pressure control pressure support. Okay. Now as I said, SIMV either it could be volume control or it could be pressure control. What are the characteristics of SIMV volume control plus pressure support? In volume control SIMV, volume is preset, okay, target is flow and the cycle is either volume or time also, okay, and the spontaneous breaths are pressure supported. Now the second is SIMV pressure control plus pressure support. Now in this pressure is preset, target is pressure and the, it is time cycled. Okay. And one more thing, the spontaneous breaths are pressure supported breaths. Okay. Now what are the characteristics of breath when they are pressure supported, spontaneous breath characteristics when they are pressure supported. Now, you know, as I have discussed earlier, what is pressure support ventilation? There is one thing important that the pressure support ventilation, the ventilation is patient triggered and it is flow cycled and pressure targeted. 
here also these spontaneous breaths are pressure supported okay now what what is the character it has these are patient triggered flow cycled and pressure targeted okay so this is the characteristics of breath that is the spontaneous breath on simv if they are pressure supported now types of breath either time triggered mandatory breaths is delivered automatically as safety backup major when the patient has no spontaneous effort okay there is no spontaneous effort the time triggered mandatory breath will be delivered the second assist breath are delivered to the patient at the beginning of inspiratory efforts thus preventing an increase in simb frequency now synchronization orr timing or trigger window very important to understand because this mode is actually based on this term what is synchronization what is the breath synchronization so it's very important to understand how the synchronization happens in simv mode now during simv the patient can breathe spontaneously okay and intermittently receive a number of mandatory ventilation strokes which corresponds exactly to the set intermittent mandatory ventilation frequency so it will correspond to that what you have set on the ventilator now second important thing the time interval just prior to schedule delivery of time triggered mandatory breath is commonly referred to as the trigger window or synchronization window or the trigger window or the timing window although the exact interval of synchronization window is slightly different from manufacturer to manufacturer it's usually 0.5 second that is the common time interval 0.5 seconds now mechanism of synchronization how the synchronization occurs if the mandatory rate for example you have selected the mandatory rate 10 breaths per minute on the ventilator the ventilator would be expected to time trigger and deliver the mandatory breath after 6 seconds at 5.5 seconds from the beginning of previous mandatory breath the synchronization window 0.5 second determines absence or presence of spontaneous inspiratory effort so 0.5 second in this 0.5 second mechanical in this ventilator will you know determine whether there is presence of spontaneous breaths or not now if the patient makes spontaneous inspiratory efforts when the synchronization window is active that means this point within this 0.5 second duration the ventilator is patient triggered to deliver an assist mandatory breath okay if this in the if the patient efforts are in between these 0.5 seconds now the ventilator will determine whether the inspiratory effort is there or not if it is there the ventilator will sync with that inspiratory effort and will deliver the mandatory breath there if however no spontaneous inspiratory efforts exist while the synchronization window is active the ventilator will time trigger when the full time trigger interval elapses to give mandatory breath that is 6 seconds okay so 0.5 second very important within this 0.5 second if there are inspiratory efforts the ventilator will sync with that inspiratory efforts and will deliver the breath assist control breath it will deliver this assist breath at that time now if there is no inspiratory effort within this window period that is the 0.5 seconds then what will happen at the you know usual duration six seconds the ventilator will give mandatory breaths that was due at six second now to clarify it more i will just repeat it again so the synchronization window is very important to understand.
Now, we have quoted one example where we have set the respiratory rate n. That means every six seconds, the ventilator will deliver the mandatory breath. Now, what I have told you, most of the ventilator in the manufacturer has this 0.5 second of window that is the synchronization window. If the patient is making inspiratory efforts within this 0.5 second window, the ventilator is going to deliver the breath, mandatory breath, with this, you know, patient effort. Now, if there is no inspiratory effort within this 0.5 duration, 0.5 second duration, the mandatory breath that was due in this example after 6 seconds will be delivered. Okay. So, sync, just remember this synchronization. That is very important to understand. So, let's move to the other slide. Now, advantages of SIMV mode, it promotes spontaneous breathing. The most important advantage of SIMV mode is that it promotes spontaneous breathing and use of respiratory muscles. Continuous use of respiratory muscles prevents respiratory dysfunction. Second, SIMV lowers mean airway pressure. Now, mechanical breath increases the airway pressure and spontaneous breath decreases it. Any technique which is a combination of both will decrease the mean airway pressure, reducing the risk of barotrauma, cardiovascular depression. Now, disadvantages of SIMV, first is the prolongation of weaning. The ideal approach of SIMV weaning is to provide a spontaneous breathing workload that gradually increases a patient's muscle strength and endurance. SIMV with its gradual reduction of mechanical ventilation rate allows some physicians to unnecessarily delay the weaning process. It leads to respiratory muscle fatigue. Now, in, in the end, I just want to discuss what is difference between SIMV and assist control breath. Now, in SIMV, what you have seen, there are mandatory breaths and in between these mandatory breaths, patient is allowed to take spontaneous breath. And this mandatory breaths, they can be synchronized also with the patient effort. Now, second, in the assist control, the breaths are either assist or they are controlled. Controlled by means you have selected the respiratory rate and the control breath will be delivered after a set time. This assist, what is assist? If the patient is taking any effort, showing any effort that will be sensed by the ventilator, ventilator is going to deliver the breath. So every effort if it is sensed by the ventilator, the ventilator will deliver the breath. But here in SIMV, if it is in the synchronization window, if it is in the sync window, the, if the patient has made the effort in the sync window, the ventilator will sense that and delivers the breath. Okay. And that will be synchronized with the patient effort. And outside this synchronization window, if the patient is taking, if the patient is having some efforts, they will be pressure supported or spontaneous breaths. That Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please press the bell icon and please subscribe to my channel. And in my upcoming videos, I will be discussing more on basics of ventilator. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook by the name Dr. Munir Jan. Thanks once again.